revolutionary act in this world is simply dreaming, dreaming, beyond what is, seeing what could be, through your eyes with your Question reality. reality. Imagination sparks ideas, possibilities. Like more love, liberty, good memory. timely manner is if everybody's hands on. There's also an upcoming charity event. How fun will that be? But as you all know, we have to do the not so important things to keep the public invested. And that brings us more people, more business, more money, and most importantly, more power. Glasses. Here's to the power of the wait i don't have a glass maverick this is so exciting i mean really thank you glasses well was there any ice i really don't need it room temperature is so great right now thanks anyway dude ah, well, no, my, my bad i'm so listen i'm maverick can I get some napkins? Maverick. Maverick. Thank you all. Meeting adjourned. Everybody out. You do not leave. Sit in the chair. Later, fellas. Yep. Mind if I open a window? I promised our late mother and father oh, this speech again. that I would take care of you as the both of them dwindled away before my eyes. Look, man, I'm sorry, okay? There was traffic. We were 18 years old. Never did I imagine that I would grow up seeming that I'm the only one who had the decency to do so and I would come to realize that I have never regretted anything save the day that I was so idiotic and clueless to make that promise. We still have a lot of work to do around here. You're too spoiled just because I'm a multi-billionaire. You're a multi-billionaire. Do not forget it was dad that left you this company to begin with. You didn't get this out of the mob. You're right, but I sprinkled water over it, I fed it sunlight, and I watched it grow. And I did nothing? You have one job, and that job is to help me keep an eye on you by just showing up, wearing that stupid little hat, and being completely Useless. I'm not.
not useless. That's the bathroom. That's the bathroom. I could have had to use it. You didn't have to use I'm not it. Useless. Huh. A little mad. It literally better not be another car. Um. Hmm. Okay, this guy had a V8 at the red light and kept doing the roomy roomy thing. And I swear, I only lightly stepped on the gas. Park the car in the parking deck of the house and stay inside until I. Get there. It's actually kind of being loaded up on a truck right now. What? Why did you call a tow truck? Did you completely wreck the car? Uh, no, but Officer... Officer Mike Man, yeah, he made me tow it. Officer! Which was definitely not awesome of him. Yeah, he also went on about how my license was suspended and I shouldn't even be driving and responsibilities and blah, 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 blah. So, if you're not busy, hey, well, he's reaching for my cell phone. Dude, you don't have to be so aggressive. You definitely got to meditate more, man. I'm thinking he, I might be going to jail or something. Yeah, see you later, man. I, I'll call you. I've already set the alarms. So, for the 2030th time, disable the alarms. If you decide to go do your little weird galaxy watching thing, stargazing. <sighs> It's real, my mind thinks it's real, and it feels oh so good, yes it feels oh so good, but it's only a dream. My bad, twin bro. My bad. <gasps> A shooting star. 
Oh, well, I should probably make a wish. No need. Everything is exactly as it should be. Oh, uh. What's up, little Mr. Light Dude Buggy? <laughs> Must be nice. Bet you don't have to go to work in the morning. You like the view too, huh? Things just seem to make more sense from here. Under the stars, peace and quiet. Space to just imagine and be a child again. To me, the stars just feel like home. Whoa, uh, whoa. Did you see that, Mr. Lightbug? Oh, man. Two shooting stars in one night. Maybe I should reconsider the whole not making a wish thing. I mean, it could be a sign. Huh? That was strange. Must be some type of meteor shower. Huh? I don't remember anything on the forecast about a storm. I guess I'll just head back to the house then, Mr. Lightbug. You be safe out here. Oh, yep, uh, yeah, I was kinda walking here, so, um, I just... What is up with tonight? Are... Are you telling me to follow you? But I'm pretty sure it's about to storm, so maybe next time. Fine, fine, fine. This storm doesn't look so polite. But I'm down for a quick adventure. Wait, slow down a little. Okay, what, what did you want to show me? Why'd you leave me here, Mr. Brightbug? Uh -huh. And the drip. What is this like? Versace from Mars? Or is it Venus? Titan. Which planet are you guys from? I knew it. <clears throat> Inky Godson, come. Time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. Is that like Shakespeare? You guys have poetry. And man, y'all are tall. There's gotta be basketball. Human inhabitants have evolved into a race of beings who have indeed caused bloodshed and corruption. We have attempted to intervene to the best of our ability, 
without being in violation of the intergalactic laws. We are not allowed to force a species into order. If that species does not choose order, we are only able to guide that species into order. And so, we sent messengers as human incarnates, generation after generation, to all parts of the world. But sadly, the most of them were slaughtered by the same people they came to help. We even stepped beyond our boundaries and attempted to come into the earth and meet with your lords. But they had already been meeting with some of our brothers who betrayed us. They were given powerful weapons, which they used to shoot us down and make war with us. Your people were never told of this by your lords. They kept these truths a secret. We are not by far incapable of warring with your lords. We have only been patient. They have taken our patience for weakness. Now, we are afraid your race is beyond redemption. Wait, I'm not understanding. What don't you understand? This is, what, what are you gonna do? This will be your garment, as you must garb yourself in the garb of righteousness to endure the journey past the event horizon. We will take you to a new earth where there will be a new heaven. But the what earth. about the old one? What are you gonna do to earth? Earth, as you know it, will be no more. Take your crown and your garb and be restful and at peace. We have a long journey ahead. There are two crowns here. Why are there two crowns? Two garments. You were born as a twin. Enlil, my brother, we gotta go back. Your brother is not worthy. Not worthy? What do you mean? There's one for him too. We've gotta go back and get we him. We have been observing the two of you since you were in the womb. There was a time where the both of you had the green light. This is how we knew to stay with you and guide you to that field where you were to be taken up and away before the destruction was to fall upon your world. But what about all the other innocent children? What about them? They did nothing wrong. We were given orders to retrieve no more than 140 and 4,000 human beings. Only those who emitted the green light were chosen. Well, then you have to receive my brother because he was originally chosen. But he has fallen. And he can rise again. He has to be born again. It's impossible to turn a corrupt adult back into a childlike being. How do you know? Because we have already tried for hundreds of thousands of years. We have tried and failed. It is not possible. Nothing is impossible. All my life I tell people that there had to be life on other planets and nobody believed me. Everybody said I was crazy. And I even believed them after a while. But here we are. I knew it had to be possible, and it was. What if I can use that same power of faith and hope to change all of the world back to being like children? And then they can all get on these ships and leave. Don't you have enough ships and seats and crowns and garments? And there would be no point in taking everyone off of the planet because that would mean the fate of your world would have been altered and there would be no need for destruction. That's a possibility. It's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Enough, <sighs> Inky Godson. I am Anu Elio. You have two middle names? Do not speak while your creator speaks. My creator? Yes, your creator. You can hear me? I, Spearheaded Project Humanity. 
I gave the order to form you of the clay of the ground and breathe life into you and you became a living soul. No one has been able to bring you back to the light. We can change. Let me try. Please. To try is to fail. My brother, he's good. He has a good heart. Please, I can save him. There isn't much time left. In 2030, we will surround your world and prepare to release the great balls of fire once more. Please, at least let me save him. Please, he's my brother. I will allow for you to attempt to reach your brother, but you have been outside of your world's atmosphere, and you've gone far beyond your solar system. In Earth time, you have been away for three years. Three years? Well, well that still leaves me with four years to convince him. I'm ready. Take me back. You still have to journey back. That will have been another three years past. So I've just been missing for six years? We are heading back to your world now. We will leave you at the original meeting place. And you will have to return to that place nine months from that month at 9 p.m. Any later and you will have forfeited your position. And we will not be able to wait for you. If we are to make it in time for the portal to open, we could leave not a second later. Also remember, only the beings of green light will be allowed to pass through the event horizon. If you are to lose your light during your return period, you will not be allowed to enter the craft. But how will I know how to keep my light? What if I fail? You will avoid all unclean acts. You will not smoke cigarettes or take drugs of any kind. You will not drink alcohol, eat lightly, and exercise daily. Rest and rise with the patterns of your son. I believe I can do that. You ought to do a lot more than believe. What do you mean? This will not vary. If you fail, you will be wiped away alongside the failing world you come from. If you want to be made free again, you have to know that you can do this. How will I know? You do know. But how will I know he's ready? You will know he is ready because he will want to play again. Play right. There is one more thing you must remember. We have overstepped and are in great violation, allowing for you to embark upon this journey. Fate has not been outmaneuvered. If your brother is made aware of our existence and why you have returned, the fabric of time and space within your world's atmosphere will split, causing every atom in every body of every living being and in everything to separate and then shrink into a quantum state of nothingness, deleting everyone and everything from existence as you know it to be. Don't tell my brother. Got it. I will be right here with you. Reach out in thought. If you need me, I will be there. Okay, that's great. Very helpful, but also like super weird. So how do I like hang up? Hmm. Oh, hi. I'm 
I actually live here. Or maybe I used to live here. I'm looking for my brother and Lil. It's you. You're, you're Enki. Wow, you're alive. Right, right. I'll go just one minute. Oh. Okay. Enlil, you won't believe it. All your stories and memories and- Lena, my love, I am quite busy at the moment. I have such a wonderful surprise. You know I don't care for surprises. But it's such a wonderful surprise. Later, my love. I will see what you want to show me later. But Enlil- Elena. Well, I'll just go ahead and prepare supper. That would be lovely. Mashed potatoes, squash, roasted carrots, and three large steaks well done. Perfect. Wait, why are you making three steaks? You know, neither of us have an appetite that exceeds a tiny toddler. Your brother, Enlil? He's alive! Elena, this is not amusing. No, 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 he is alive! He's outside our front door as we speak! I couldn't believe it when he said your name and that you were his brother. Then it all hit me, and he hasn't aged a bit. I do not wish to see him. What do you mean? You've only talked about him every day for the last six years. And I have hated him every second of every minute of every hour of every day of each of those six years. But don't you want to know what happened to him? Are you not relieved to know that he's alive? Tell him I am not here. I am away on a business trip and will not return for another three months. Enlil. Elena. I'm sorry. He isn't here. He's away on a business trip. Oh, I understand. Well, when will he be back? Three months. Not too long, right? Right. A business trip? You are really, really something. You know what? I am not even tripping, pal. Because that is all behind us. And we have plenty catching up to do. Starting with who was that lady at the door? Dude, at least give me a key to the house. I don't have any of my stuff. Dude. <clears throat> All of your things are in the basement. I knew I'd find you here. Surprise, you still know where it is. It's only been like, what, 26 years since the last time you came here? The lady who met you at the door is my wife. Wife? Yeah, we uh, got married pretty quickly. A few months after you disappeared. I blame myself for your disappearing. I felt like I was too hard on you, but I always hated you for leaving and saying nothing to me or to anybody. And then there was the thought that something had happened to you. I couldn't face the reality that you were gone. Things haven't been the same. Elena. That's her name, by the way. It's a nice name. 
She really kept me together, and she told me you'd be back one day. And I didn't believe it. But I tried to believe it for a while. But then I just lost faith. I promised her I would fix things between the two of us if you ever returned. I promised myself, I don't really understand why you are how you are. But I've been living a certain way for so long, think maybe change would be good. I'm hoping you can forgive me and that you can help me. Help me learn to enjoy life again. I want to learn to have more fun and be carefree like you. I want to try being childish for change. What did you say? I mean, I didn't mean to offend you. No, no, really. It's fine. I forgive you, man. I hope you can forgive me for messing things up for all these years. For so many years. I forgave you six years ago when I thought I lost you. I can help you, twin bro. Yeah? I can help you be more fun, more childish. I can help you learn to enjoy this life we have on one condition. Name it. You have to do exactly as I say, and you have to mean it with your heart and soul that you want change. Deal. A token to seal the deal? The deal is sealed with a token. Swim, bro, take off your blindfold. Mm-hmm, here he is, changed and very much childish, just like I told you guys he would be. You have proven to be possible that which we thought to be impossible. You have resurrected your brother and Lil, God's son. And for that, we will spare your world because we have faith that you will all find your way back to the true light. You hear that, twin bro? We just saved the world. We will return, and we hope and have faith that when we return, you will all be of the true light as you were intended to be. Wadu. Come on, twin bro. And fix your face, man. I told you they were real. You guys told me I was crazy. Now, Tag, you're it. <laughs> Come on.